Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Actually, scratch that one for now. Link canonically cannot jump upwards infinitely. Let's not be silly here. Yet. You have no way of making it up to that divine- BALLOONS! Link, fueled by Rivali's reverse psychology, scoured the land, sending the Octoroks of Hyrule to near extinction for their balloons. Wielding a Korok leaf and mounting a trusty wooden box, he set sail. With patience and precision, Link's dangerous excursion upwards leads him straight to Rivali on Va Meadow. To accept his one-on-one -on -one challenge, and then kick his ass! Hypothetically. Unfortunately, in my demonstrations, Va Meadow doesn't come with collision. So we need some Link did not have the paraglider back then, but it wouldn't be a stretch to say he could make one. And with that, chaining together a series of spicy peppers in order to create an updraft even taller than Ravali's Gale. Can't reach high enough. This gets left out as an honorable mention. Okay, this method requires the Sheikah Slate, which was in the possession of Zelda 100 years ago. But hypothetically speaking, let's say Link was fueled by reverse psychology. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? He steals it, enters Oman Aw Shrine as the sword's chosen one, gets Magnesis, and constructs his own flying machine out of two minecarts to go kick Rivali's ass! Hypothetically. Stealing the Sheikah Slate and exploring ancient Sheikah structures for power is the norm now. Do you want to prove Rivali right? No. You have stasis now, a paraglider you constructed yourself, and a pretty metal box you're ready to hit yourself really hard with to prove a point. Get a fairy, you'll be fine. Climb to Hebra Peak, build up enough kinetic energy to kill a Hinox, hit yourself with it, and glide over to Vaumeto to kick Rivali's ass. How did Link get a wooden box on top of Hebra Peak? I don't know, he built it with all of his wood or something. With similar disregard for one's own body, a well-placed bomb with this light wooden box can send Link far and fast enough to reach Va Meadow and kick Rivali's butt. Do you need a butthole to have a butt? I don't know the full anatomy of a Rito, but if we assume they're like other birds, he has a cloaca. But does that meet the specifications of a butt? Then Link kicks him in the cloaca. That doesn't have the same ring to it. Sometimes there's just a single moment. The straw that breaks the camel's back. The burning rage in your soul unlocks your potential to do 
the impossible. We're disregarding the laws of physics now. Rocks know more than you can fathom. Study them, empathize with them, shift your values to theirs, and with new understanding, you may become untethered to the earth. And we're back, it's the moon jump glitch. I can't explain this one immersively. You mount a horse, you mount a different horse, and then everything is wacky. Link makes it to Va Meadow. Rivali is in disbelief. This isn't possible. In a moment where his insecurities should have been reinforced, the act is dropped, and he confesses his feelings for Link. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. <sighs> they embrace, forever sealing the darkness of their bitter history into the past. The true darkness, that which holds true love from flourishing. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Ride to the highest peak of Hebra Mountains. Create a time split and instruct your split self to ride back to Rito Stable. Position their steed on a slope facing away from the Divine Beast and remount to tether your alternate existence back together. Reforming the split timeline generates enough force onto Link to send him flying at mock speed towards Va Meadow. To look at your world, its possibilities, its limitations, and master them, is remarkable. To look beyond your world, your time, and seek a new level of possibility, that is what you must do. Enter a shrine with a device known as an apparatus. Traverse to an alternate timeline as you interact with it. Do this twice. The power of the apparatus travels with you and bonds you to the very earth you touch. Head to the death mountain of this timeline and bond yourself to its molten lava. 
becoming one with fire. Head to the monster camp west of Rito Village. With precisely 550 bomb arrows stashed for use. Right when Va Meadow's flight path fully crosses over the entrance of Passer Hill, leap off the cliff edge and grab hold of your bomb arrows one by one. Given that your calculations and execution were precise, your 550th bomb arrow will safely land you on top of Bomb Meadow from the second loop of its flight path, where you can finally be revolved. Then Link kicks his cloaca. E says, nice, this is awesome. No, E, you're awesome. Jonathan Shamus says, why advise people on proving the odds? Are you planning to just purposely not read those comments? Now this is a good question. Toa Va says, Bionicle. Thanks for watching, bye!